Hi, it's Zeno, we're Hug Princess, and welcome to an on the road Vera Spectacular. I have two of the most amazing people you will ever meet, Judy and Janet, the identical twin cruising buddies. Hi! Hi. And Kelly, and Kelly, and Kelly, and Kelly's here. And we have the most beautiful Vera to share with you. These two lovely twins have a wonderful collection. And uh, we're just gonna go through it and share it because there's some really amazing vintage Vera. And the twins, identical, so they bought a lot of identical things. So the first round we'll see um, in detail. And then as we hit the duplicates, we'll go pretty quickly through them, but something new pops up in the other bins because there is a slight variance in their collection here. So we'll share everything. And these two are gonna pop in and out at will. And we'll just play that as it comes. That sound good, ladies? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit on this little stool right here and go through this lovely Vera with you. Do you guys want to chair? Go on up, sit for a while, stick around. All right, so this first group of items is in the cafe latte pattern. And if you haven't seen it, I quite like it. It's neutrals and they have a lot of pieces in this pattern. So some of them have tags. I tried to match them up. So they even have the tags. They're just like me. I'm so anal attentive about that stuff. <laughs> so this is a medium bow cosmetic in Cafe Latte. Um, most of their stuff is not even used. It's so beautiful. All right. So this is kind of the new trapeze style. So it's kind of a, they've gone back around full circle. So it's like a trapeze style cosmetic with a triangular shape there, sort of a trapezoid. It has the loop to hold. This has a little bow on the opposite end. It's just a fabric bow. I guess you could untie it, but it's sort of sewn on there that way. And it just has a zipper across. But the older one, this one, has the, the trim pattern. Do you remember those days, Vera, classic Vera? You got the internal pattern, the external pattern, and the trim patterns. And that internal in this case is black, so that's not living up to what I just said, but zipper pocket and two mesh lips on the front. So this is a more comprehensive cosmetic than the current ones that's come back around. I don't know if you guys knew all that. Okay, so we've got a lot of things. We've got the cosmetic. Is it okay to set on board? Clean, clean board. So, okay, we've got an eyeglass case. They're all, of course, the soft padded ones. This I do it at home too. A zip ID. We're talking about saving those for cruising. I don't know what they're gonna do, but they're pretty. Some of them have really good pattern placement. This one's okay. You definitely get the cafe latte. And like I said, I've matched up all the tags back to the bags. That was fun yesterday. We had a good laugh about it. And then we have the hipster. This is a crossbody bag. If you're not familiar, it's, I think they still have hipsters, but they're not the same. They've changed shape and configuration and whatnot. But it's a lovely crossbody bag. It's the smaller version. There's also a couple other things here we're gonna look at to compare, but it's um, a smaller handbag, if you will. It has a snap front pocket, pretty good size. Let me come up closer so you can see what I'm doing. Right here, it fits my whole hand, which is a big hand. Snap, magnetic snap. Has a zipper across the top for the main pocket. Two, nope, that's not a slip, that's just the seam. One, two slips in the back. There's your interior pattern for the cafe latte and the two slips right there. And um, it's three slips, actually. Three slips all the way across. And then the outside has a zipper pocket on the back. I like the original hipsters. Um, I do have some. I definitely don't have anything in this pattern. So super excited when I so just started salivating seeing the stack of this lovely stuff. <laughs> They're laughing at me over here. This is super fun. You guys can be in it more if you want. You don't have to. They're too cute. They're We're just enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've never seen this in action, so... Um, okay, and then the Saddle Up crossbody. This is a lovely size bag. It's kind of around, I would say medium to large. It actually, this one has been laying flat, but it comes out quite a little bit. It's a good size handbag. And it has this loop, it's a, it says Vera Bradley on it, but it's a magnetic flap. I love the magnetic flaps. This is convenient because you can just grab that thing. And inside it, you have kind of like the mail bag, you have two pockets underneath that flap and then a main compartment. So I have the adjustable strap. These straps are not removable, but they are adjustable. On the front of here, you have three slips again, just like the little um, hipster. And then on the back, you actually have a zipper privacy pocket inside. This again is a good size. Look at the base of that. 
It is a rounded bottom, so it won't stand very well standing up, but it's a great bag. Like that, and then no pockets on the back, but look at the pretty pattern. So then I store them flat, of course, as theirs are stored flat. So I put the straps inside, just makes it less. There you go. That's the saddle up. They, you could tell which styles they liked because they have multiples in them, just very Xena-like. So they have a lot of saddle ups. Not a lot of hipsters though. So they have like the adorable, well, we'll get to it. I'll tell you later. But they have little stuff more than big stuff. And then they have the travel side. This is called a large backpack. Um, relative to the normal backpacks today, we think of large would be like your journey or your campus, your campus extra large, etc. those kind of thing. Even a day, this is more like day tripper size, maybe a little bit less capacity. But these are cotton, you know, these are, I wanna see if this is vintage Vera before I say that, but what I mean by vintage Vera, if you're not familiar with my terminology, is I consider it made in the USA, it's vintage Vera. This is actually made in China, so it's before they lost all the details of finishing details, like the interiors are quilted, y'all, remember those days? And all these trims, look at all the seams are finished with trim. So everything is more robustly constructed and really detailed finishes. Even if it was the made in China stuff, they've just gotten farther and farther away from that. But you, you see this backpack, it has straps. They're not ergonomic, they're not, I won't say they're not padded. There is a little pseudo pad to it. It's more like a facing in there to make it uh, thickened. It's multi-layered fabric, nice adjustable. It's plastic adjustments. They don't unclip or anything, but good adjustability. Zipper pocket on the back here. It does have side compartments. You can fit a water bottle in there, just a regular plastic water bottle. Probably wouldn't fit like your waterproof, I mean your um, thermos mugs and stuff. The other side, so one side is a slip, the other side is a zip. Same size pocket, but this one has a zipper, so you can put your keys in there or your phone in the other, use it like a purse backpack, things like that. Rolled top carry handle. The front has a flap closure. This is back in Velcro days, but nice Velcro closure. Clear ID pocket right here on the top. It is a side opening. Inside this pocket is just the pocket. The front has that lined part and the back is the front material. And then like I said, it's Velcro closure. Really nice backpack, double zipper closure. There you go. So all this matchy matchy perfectly coordinates now this piece, if you're a lug person, you know the puddle jumper, classic lug bag, right? This is very much like the puddle jumper. It is not a puddle jumper, this is Vera. This is the tall zip tote. And before seeing these lovely ladies collection, I had never seen it before, but there it is, the tall zip tote in Cafe Latte. Um, like I said, most of these bags are like new, probably some of them never got used based on what I'm seeing. And my own experience, my own bags, I get it. We have too many, this is what happens. Too many is not a bad thing, by the way. So it has these handles, fits very nicely on my shoulder. There is no crossbody strap. That would make this bag 10 times better. But it is quite lovely and pretty simple, actually. So there's your trim on the back. There's a zipper that runs all the way across one big pocket. Look at that perfect pattern placement on this one. Holy cow. This medallion here, you see this? You didn't even know yeah. that. Look how centered. Yeah. That is a uh, lucky. <laughs> Look, Clint. It's Clint is the the yeah, other half. Look, <laughs> it's centered. I like centered. <laughs> uh, anyways, back to the front. So you have the trim pattern. And then you have two pockets. These are those magnetic snaps and lug like. They're not pocket on pocket like lug, but they are good size pockets and they do have a flap closure on each. No side pockets. And inside you have three slips across the front right here. And on the back, you have a privacy zipper all the way across. And let's check, I think it goes all the way down. Um, yep, all the way down. So huge back pockets, which I just love. Okay, this um, tall zip coat. There's several of these in the collection. So this was one of the things they also liked a lot. Okay. And that completes the selection of, at least for one twin, they're separate, they have one and they have one. Like I said, there's duplicates. 
That is one twins cafe latte. This next set is a beautiful blue sort of, it's not paisley, but they're kind of like paisley flowers. And this is, what was it, Bali blue? Bali blue, I think. Hang on. Where did I put the tag? Somewhere. Um, okay, this bag doesn't have a tag, but inside, I'm correct, it's Bally Blue. Because here's a lanyard in the same pattern. Oh, wait, it's blurry. Anyway, so there's a lanyard. <laughs> We're not opening it, though. Never used. <laughs> Might be worth saving. It's nautical colors. <laughs> okay, so they have some interesting pieces. So obviously there's a lanyard. Y'all know I love my zip IDs and lanyards. This is the predecessor piece to the zip ID. It's the clip and zip. So it's kind of got like a coin purse shape to it, but it's a zip ID essentially. And then it just has the chain instead of the loop and it's on the zipper. So, you know, it's part of it, but it's a zip ID essentially. So they have that. Oh, I just set it in pile. And they've got this purse, which is, I would call it an on the go, but it's an early on the go. And the only strap it has is a short shoulder with these big, beautiful Vera Bradley metallic rings. And so it fits nicely like this. You can carry it on your arm. It's the right length to not hit the ground, not even close when I'm walking with it hanging. So yeah, beautiful. No outside pockets on the front and back, but the sides do have the on the go style pockets and they're a little on the small side, probably would not hold a water bottle. Perfect for a phone, which I'm filming on. Never mind. <laughs> Sometimes I'm usually on my iPad. Um, but the top is a magnetic closure, so it's not a current on the go for sure, but I love those hidden magnets. Inside, interestingly enough, there's interior pattern, but no pockets on the inside except the interior side pockets, which are a little bit bigger than the outside. You maybe could put a water bottle, but yeah. There you go. If it's cold, it'll condensate in there. That's all right, but they're not lined or anything with waterproof. But this old style, again, it's it's quilted in. And where's the tag on this one? Well, maybe I'll find out a smaller piece to see if this is vintage Vera. A lot of their stuff is vintage Vera. Um, okay. Also, they have the business card case. And I don't think this was called that. It was called card holder. Here's the tag, if you want to see that. Card holder. It's like the card case, though. The one that I have in Lilac Medallion, this one is the same, but it doesn't have the snap closure, but it's the same. Two sides of cards, and it's just fabric with a little facing in there, so it's flexible. It's great for travel. All right, and then they have this piece. Now, this is super cute. They have a couple of these in their collection. I think two different patterns, actually. Again, there's a hidden magnet, super cute front pocket right there pretty good size i actually think the phones would fit here the new phones so my iphone let me put it up to my iphone yeah i think it would fit in there quite nicely so i would actually put my phone there perfect easy access but look it's a belt bag but it's the kind that you can just take the belt completely off or you can use it like a sling um but it's a good size you could take the belt thing out and just use it as a pouch it's just a pouch with a zipper closure perfect so um, this one, I don't have the tag, so I don't know the name of it, but it's, it's an old belt bag, but it does have the tag and it is, where is it made? Hold on. Made in China, sorry, not vintage, but very vintage like with the details. Ooh, it's getting sweaty, working hard over here, love it. They love the Franny, the original Franny. Now, you know the Franny has come back out. Sadly, I don't have my stuff here. The new current Frannies are, um, I would say double the size actually. So this is maybe half to two thirds the size of the new Franny and has a more robust strap. But this is the original Franny Oop, and it has a zip ID, obviously. We'll get back to that. And there you go. So the original Franny had the thinner strap. It is fabric. It is adjustable, and so and it is big enough for me to wear as a, a little cute crossbody or shoulder bag. They're tiny, these twins, so it's probably is perfect for them, crossbody. But the Frannies have like a pleated, so there's no pockets on the outside. Inside, there is no pockets. It's just a bag. This particular pattern is Deco Daisy, and also made in China, but beautiful little bag. 
And there's the interior, got your little hound's tooth. Still quilted though, so we're still in the good, good style of Vero stuff. And with this, this is the only two things that I think both of you have in this pattern. So there's a zip ID with a deco daisies and the hound's tooth inside. So super cute, okay. There you go. Get, we're just getting started, y'all, so hope you're settled in for a nice ride. This is the, I think it's a small tic-tac-toe tote, something like that. I have the tag so I can tell you. Hey, small tic-tac-toe tote. And this is Capri Blue, which as you can see is a little different than the Bally Blue. They are distinct, but they kind of coordinate nicely together. But there you go, Capri Blue in the Tic Tac Toe. It has this button closure, so it has the little fabric loop to close it. But it's a Mandy size tote, if you know the Mandy. Um, there's a, also the Betsy size, so all those totes are roughly the same. None of them are current, they're all retired styles. Inside, you have this pretty geometric interior pattern. So you can see the exterior, the interior, and the trim, how well they coordinate. Um, and then inside you just have two slips on here, but it's actually a, a flap slip. So interesting old way they constructed them. Yeah. They like this one. This one's actually been used. You can tell it got a little bit of use. Not that it matters. Um, but they like the blues. So here's that tall zip tote again, or large tall zip tote, I think it was. In the same pattern. We're not going to go through all the details because we already did, but you can just see the beautiful pattern in this style. Yeah. So cool, oh, 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 stay. and y'all can't see it, but Kelly is so into this that she's laying sprawled out on the floor asleep right now. She likes it here a lot. Uh, okay, we're at Twin Peaks, which you won't know where that is. Let's just say Twin Peaks in Virginia. That's all you need to know. <laughs> we're having a land cruise. These are my cruising buzzers set. There's actually three couples and two other individuals here besides myself. And we're having an annual get together. Uh, and oh my God, we've eaten so much. They're great cooks and the food just keeps coming. Um, this is the removal adjustable strap for crossbody shoulder. It has plastic fittings. Y'all know that's not my favorite, which means this is a modern bag and definitely not vintage Vera. Um, just because I always talk about that, the metal fittings. And we will see those, just not on this yet. So this is a canvas style, the woven, not nylon, it's like a cotton weave. Um, but still good, and not a padded thing here. This is just a slider shoulder thing. Um, yeah, so let me put that aside for a sec. So this is the old style Weekender, right? So here it is in Capri Blue. They had a single slip pocket on the front, rolled handles, just like the old Weekenders, top zipper, there's your fittings for the crossbody part. Um, no other pockets on the outside. Inside, you have one big slip across one side, like, so it's like a big slip. It's kind of floppy because it's big all the way across. And then opposite that, you have three slips across, but there's that interior pattern again. And then again, the trims they used to do on the top of the pockets, kind of cool. We put the strap back in it, fold it back to storage configuration so we can lay flat in the bin and off we go okay next pattern um this is poppy red i think poppy fields is it poppy fields poppy fields poppy yeah yes oh it's on <laughs> i do remember some things you all have a lot of stuff in this between you yeah <laughs> so this is the get carried away tote in poppy fields um, it does have these uh, top shoulder pad things and they do slide and move around. They're not removable, but it gives you a little shoulder pad and you can fill these, make them very heavy. Some people say they're great for travel. They are. I used it for the first time. This was the very first bag I ever bought. Not in this pattern. I bought it in Canyon, but this was the very first Vera piece I ever had, by the way. Uh, they still have big toes, but they don't have this style anymore. But you may be able to find something very similar with the outlets. But this style has a big pocket on the front you got the two straps no crossbody you have big side pockets definitely will fit the large water bottles everything both sides and front and back slip pockets so there's four pockets on the outside 
Inside, well, besides the other things that we have in there, we have the flap zipper closure. So we talk about this sometimes on other bags, how that gives you extra capacity at the top so because it doesn't have to come to a tight close. You can leave it zipped and when you're not using it, it just falls flat inside, which is nice. Interior configuration, this is a pocket beast. It has eight pockets, three on each of the long sides and then one on each of the short sides. So the pockets all the way around the inside. The end pockets on the short ends have a plastic lining in them, at least in this version. Some of them I thought were insulated if I remember on mine, but it has a plastic lining inside that pocket. So great for water bottles and whatnot. And the interior pattern is roses, or I guess they're poppies. They kind of look more like roses at a glance, but they're poppies, red, red poppies on black background inside. And there's the trim again. Really pretty bags, right? I'm gonna leave this open just put the littles back in it. So in this pattern, I may not miss my chair and fall on the floor. I have actually done that on video. I have a rolling chair at home. <laughs> Um, so this is uh, the heated thing, curling iron cover. They have a different name for it now, but it has that thermal resistant interior material. So it just slides in. The newer versions of this have a pocket here to put the cords in. This one, you would just wrap the cord around the outside, but there you go. And it does still have trim pattern on it. Now yeah, put that inside after. This is a Franny we just saw in the other patterns. You're gonna see a bunch more because that is one of their favorites. Another favorite is of course, the Zip ID. This one didn't have any red poppies on it, which is kind of interesting pattern placement, but pretty flower centered. And there's a big poppy right there. Okay, lastly, they have this piece. Now this piece, I didn't even know Vera ever made, honestly. <coughs> it's called the Trip Kit. Yeah, Trip Kit. And it's basically, if you're a Jujube fan, it's the Be Dapper. If you're a Love fan, the new, what's it called? I don't have one. Basically the same bag. So it's like a men's shaving kit style of bag, but it's clearly a cosmetic type bag. It's plastic lined, clear plastic throughout. It's a big rectangular, like a cubic rectangle. I'm not gonna be able to shape it. It's nicely stacked flat, but yeah, you kind of get the idea. It also has no pockets inside, but it has a zipper pocket outside, also lined with plastic. So maybe you put your toothbrush and stuff outside and you put all your other stuff inside, toiletries or whatever. Great. And it has a zipper closure. It has a loop so you can grab that and zip. It also has a nice loop on the end. So I love this kind of thing. I talk about it all the time. Like I put big backpacks in bags, you stack them vertically and you can just grab at will. Different pattern is a different thing. Yeah, that's what I do. You can do it too, but you only have a couple. Um, anyways, that's it for that pattern. So moving on, put these in here and I'll put them away pretty again after. Next bag, a n older version actually, I think. Hang on. Nope, still made in China. I don't know which one came out first, but another different style of weekender. This one had two slips on the front there. And I think this one is older. The reason I say that is because look, even though it's still made in China, it has metal fittings. And um, those have come and gone, but they were mostly there before the plastic. And I prefer these because I've broken way too many plastic ones. Just some saying. This one also has a big zipper across the back, but there's the trim pattern on this one. That is a little less distinctly different from the main pattern, but it is in fact its own thing. And then inside, Guess what? We have another Franny and some other Littles. <laughs> Inside is a little different as well. You have two big slips on each side. Oh, let me get this under control here. So two big slips and there's the interior pattern. Pretty circles. They're actually flowers. Uh, but yeah, two on each side. There you go. And let's keep that open. It also, sorry, the strap is another woven strap. It's um, like cotton, not nylon, but it has the metal fittings. Same plastic slide, totally removable and adjustable. Okay, so we have the Franny. We've got a double eye gas case. The double has, so you can have, I, I don't think they fit two, honestly, but they're supposed to. Like uh, glasses and readers, sunglasses and readers, whatever. Also a zip ID. 
These girls are totally after my own heart, honestly, <laughs> the way that I group and cluster and matchy matchy. So um, now I'm sweating on everything, sorry. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's washable. <laughs> <sighs> Everybody knows I sweat. That's my show. Okay. This piece is, might as well be a modern Vera. This is basically an ultimate card case. Has the clear on the front and then all of these alternating card slots. You can multi-stack. They have a lot of capacity. And the strap to lock them in. This, no, this is the only one I saw. And I was surprised to see it. But look, it's vintage Vera with this signature, the old school. This is a rubber patch on a canvas bit and it has a zipper section with a canvas fabric loop with a rivet. And there's no tag, but it has kind of that capri, not the capri, the, I didn't even tell the pattern. Back up, Jack. I have tags too. Sorry. By the way, it was English Meadow. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Um, that was one of the ones that I wasn't as familiar with because this is not my traditional colors. I'm more blues. Not so much green. But anyways, it kind of similar. So I'm guessing it came out around that time. It's a different coloration, but it's that same pattern. Did you know? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. So anyways, ultimate card case probably was called that before too. I don't know. Okay, now I told you my first bag I ever bought was the Get Carried Away Tote in Canyon. But at the time I discovered Vera 2012, I discovered the mailbag, which is what I was looking for. Crossbody bag, it's a little bigger. This one, I'm bigger, so I'm just gonna open this up a little. But mailbag, I like to wear them a little bit lower on my hip. It's a bigger than the hipster. And I put the hipster at the bottom of the pile, so I'm not gonna dig it out. But the mailbags have this magnetic flap. I was looking for this bag and the Midnight Blues. I found Midnight Blues and I found this bag, but I could not find that piece. In the meanwhile, I discovered a few other things, and before you know it, I had $2,000 and three sets of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and on sale, so I didn't like this buy it. So anyways, I had Indigo Pop, Midnight Blues, and Canyon, full sets, all of them, all the same pieces. I still have all those, and some of them have never been used. <laughs> And now I still have them, um, probably forever, because I love them. Anyway, this is Slate Bloom's mailbag. Beautiful black with the white and gray flowers and then the trim with the leaves. And then inside, it's a geometric pattern there that obviously matches. So the flap in the mailbag at the time had one big pocket. The next version had a, a seam here, so it was two pockets, but similar. And inside here, there's no pockets. So very simple, but it has a little depth to it. So these things hold quite a lot, actually. You can really weigh them down if you don't even have to try. I didn't, I, it was pretty simple. Zipper closure here for the main pocket. And then there's a zipper pocket on the back. So similar to the hipster, but a bigger capacity. Also the older mail bags, see how the strap is mounted this way because it's meant to be worn as a crossbody or shoulder bag that way. Um, but some of the later version, actually, they turned this 90 degrees, so it was mounted um, flush on the side instead of on the back. So that was a change they made. There's been several evolutions of the mailbag, but this was an older one. And this, Slate Blooms, was made, I don't know where, let's see, China, made in China. So not vintage Vera, but still the older Vera style. I love the neutrals. I would put that on my blacks and whites in a heartbeat. While we're talking about mailbags and things I love, Ellie Blue. Why is it Ellie Blue? Look at the elephants. They're so cute. Look at the pretty blue. The blues and blue. I mean, it's right up my alley. So, in this one, it is the same style. So, it does have the big, it has the opening here, and then the zipper pocket behind. Same, same zipper on the back. There's no elephants in the main pattern, but in the trim there is. So the main pattern is these beautiful florals, blue, yellow, navy blue, white. Yeah. So there you go. It's a mail bag and elephants. There is an Ellie blue. I mean, this is Ellie blue. There's an Ellie pink, elephant pink. <coughs> Excuse me. Ellie blue. This is the zip ID. You see again, no elephants there. None on the inside either. 
<coughs> I've been talking too much. Pardon me. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and I lied to you. I didn't lie, but I was mistaken for a moment and I caught myself. This sometimes happens. I said this was sleep blooms. That is not true. This is Camellia. Yeah, does that sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> Camellia. Caught myself though, didn't lie to y'all. This is slate blooms, which actually makes sense because they're slate colored. <coughs> oh my goodness, can I have some water? Thank you, sir. So amazing. Is that part of mine? It's my, it's, that's not mine. That's mine. It's tea. Mine's the, uh, it's on the table in my spot. <coughs> I probably drink drink that so sweet. Okay, so Camellia, beautiful. A little more and then slate blooms. So my bad, sorry about that. Okay, uh, guess what it is? A Franny. <laughs> and more stuff, cause I call them little, so you know, all the little things. This one has some different littles that we haven't seen, but same Franny and slate blooms, China, sorry. But yeah, still, um, this one doesn't have a coordinating trim on it. And, but it does have coordinating trim in the pattern. This is called the wristlet. Some of you may know this also as a large tech case because for the outlet style that was there as an option. The large tech case though had a removable wristlet. This one has the one-sided clip like this and you can, there is a loop on the other side. So you can make it a cute little Percy thing. You yeah. <laughs> or you can keep that over here. Oh, thank you, Clint. You wanna, you wanna show your face? In. Hi, Clint. Hi, Vera. Thanks for the honor. <laughs> Kelly says hi, too. You can put it on there. We'll put it. That's it's tomorrow. It's okay? Okay. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. Sorry. Why are you nipping at me? Kelly. You doofus. Um, okay, sorry. So, trim pattern here. This has, nice. it's not removable, but you can kind of leave it there. And if you have a strap, you can make a little crossbody out of it or make it like a belt bag, just like that. It doesn't have belt loops, but you could do that. And inside, it's kind of like a giant zip ID-ish, but without a clear window. It has two slots, basically. Two, two sections. And speaking of zip IDs, here's an actual zip ID. And Slate Blooms. Nice pattern placement with an arch of flowers right there. Okay. You can't see Kelly. She's in, his, in between his legs, right in her favorite place. You want to lay down? You want to say hi? Come on. Kelly, up. Kelly, up. There you go. Here, baby. Everybody knows Kelly. Okay, off. Tony, you want to be in the video? Come on in. It's okay. Not so much. He says no. Well, come on in. Ah! Ah! No, Kelly doesn't like Tony yet. Hi, Tony. Kelly. Hey. Sorry. My crazy dog. My guardian. Mm -hmm. You want a hipster? It's a mini hipster. Ah, yeah. That's her colors. Totally, totally, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> Tony's a flight Kelly. attendant with Delta. Fly the friendly skies. Kelly. All right, Kelly, stop. He flew in from Minneapolis. Yeah. He came in a little late for the land cruise, but never too late to enjoy it. So, mini hipster gals. This is one of the early mini hipsters. And this is Botanica pattern. Yeah, Botanica. Yes, I think it is. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, Vines Floral. Actually, mm -hmm. I don't have to show you side by side, but it's about so different. This one has a zipper pocket across the front, which is this big on the flap. The flap is Velcro, but just like the newer mini hipsters. This is a, a I want to say top entry, sorry. Top into clear ID. And then a zipper closure. Yep, single zipper. Inside, we'll get to that in a sec. But inside you have four card slots, two and two, and then just a opening. It does have a little bit of space to it, just like the hipster. So it'll hold a phone, some keys, a chapstick, a few things, a pen, a little notebook, whatever. There's the Velcro closure. The interior pattern, I'm not big on green, so yeah, it's okay. On the back, big slip. That's where I'd put my phone. And then you have on a strap. Now the strap is not adjustable. So to shorten it, you'd have to tie a knot in it or whatever, put a tie on it. There you go. So the, the old mini hipster is super cute. And I'm just put the strap back inside. 
Good, you calm back down. Look at her facing out, though. She's protecting me from you hooligans. <laughs> yes, we're Smart vicious. girl, Kelly. Yeah, Smart yeah. Little Kelly. they know my crazy dog. She's so sweet, but has a little edge. Okay, so inside there, there was another little piece, and this piece is called the all-in-one wristlet. Now, that might make me chuckle a bit because the newer ones are so much bigger. Look how tiny it was. Remember when your little flip phone would fit in there? Yeah, nothing like that now. <laughs> but you could put like easy access cards or even for receipts or things, but it is just a slip, no snap or anything. It does have a zipper component though. So if you open that up, it's kind of like a giant zip ID. You have your clear view here, not secured, but it'll stay in. Inside you have a zipper part for coins. You have a bigger slip this way and then three card slots right here. So cute little wallet. Uh, would not fit your phone, but you could use it like a zip ID. And once again, it has that one side connected loop wristlet type thing. You can hook it onto a bag. You can put it on a lanyard if you wanted. Yeah, but anyways, there you go. The newer all-in-one wristlets are a little bigger and a little more all-inclusive. There you go. This one is a great size. Goes perfectly with the mini hipster as your little wallet and a grab and go bag and a bag even. And there you go, like that. All right, now I know some of you are fans of this next pattern just like I am, but this next style is another one I had never seen or heard of. And um, there's a lot of littles in it, so let me pull those out first and we'll look at this bag. This is Java Blue, beautiful neutrals, blues and browns. Um, if you've seen my other videos, there's Stephanie Dawn, I'll try and put a link here for you. There's a pattern, I forget the name at this moment, but it, it kind of is like Java Blue, so I'll compare. This is actually a really nice pattern placement. You got the three main floral elements. I think that's lovely. Yeah, anyways, um, it's beautiful no matter which pattern placement you get. A nice trim pattern across the bottom. But this piece, I, I think it's called the Commuter. Where did I put the tag? Hang on, I have the tag. It is... Oh, sorry, I lied. Metropolitan, maybe. <laughs> I think I, I think yours said commuter. Anyways, it's either the commuter or the metropolitan. I was matching tags with bags. It was the best fit. Anyway, lots of pockets. So this is kind of like uh, the outlet version, uh, the medium travel bag, or like a medium weekender. It's slightly smaller, but also different. Um, you could use it as a big purse. You could use it for a lot of different things, but it's a great size. Um, <coughs> It's not a tote, it's like weekender style. It has a crossbody removable strap. And I took that out, it's right here in that brown woven canvas. But this style had the padded strap that you could slide or you could remove the strap. And it is adjustable. Adjustable is plastic, but the important parts are metal. So this bag, let's start again. So we have the pattern placement. On here, you have a zipper pocket all the way across right here. But behind that, you have a slip all the way across, or, or two thirds of the way across. So like you could put your phone there, kind of like a lug phone slot. It's not padded, but you got your separate compartments there. But the front is a skinny zipper section. Yeah. One here, double zipper on that. Rolled handles, just like the Weekender old ones, and they have this flat piece so it can lay flat when you're not using them. Same in the back, but the back has pockets too. Check this out. So this one is kind of like a diaper bag configuration. Now it's not a diaper bag, but you know, the diaper bag on the, the large stroll around diaper bag has a zip down things and then it would fold down for the changing pad. This is not a changing pad. It has gus gussets and a snap closure, snap tab closure. So it's gusseted. So you can open it up. You can really get it. So I've had it my crossbody. You can really get in there. Doo -doo -doo. Have some folders in there maybe. Your wallet has a zipper pocket. It has a skinny pen slot. No, it has three pen slots. And then it has a slip pocket. It has a clear ID up above. And then um, it has this snap tab closure. So it's on a tab, but it still just snaps. And you can see that interior pattern as well with the Java Blue. And then it snaps close and zips up the sides. It's just extra, but it's kind of cool. So that's the front and the back, and looking at it, I don't think it matters which you call the front or the back, but I probably would call this the front, 
One, because the pattern placement, it just is a centered piece. And it has the older stuff, but I just saw it. Yeah, the older stuff had signature Vera Bradley right in the fabric. Do you see that where my fingers are pointing? Right in the trim pattern there. But that's on both sides. I just, this one, it doesn't matter. One of them's the front, one's the back. You can flip it. Inside, guess what? Still more pockets. You've got two big slips on the front or back, whichever. And then here you have like a laptop compartment, Velcro. It's padded on both sides. So tech compartment, because if you have a small laptop, it'll fit there, but this is a smaller bag. Um, so it won't fit the big laptops. It's thick enough, wide enough, I mean, but not long enough. But because of the width, you can kind of get some extra length. Definitely fits all sizes of iPads. Yeah. There you go. And the base is a hard base. And that's rem removable, I think. Let me check. Yep, that's removable. And also, this has a trolley sleeve on it. So the zipper compartment I talked about, that slip behind it, it's actually not a pocket. Sorry, I misspoke. It's a trolley sleeve. Not a zippable bottom trolley sleeve. It's a straight up trolley sleeve. So if you put your phone in there, it's going to fall off the bottom. Don't do that. <laughs> Okay, anyways, that's that bag, and I'll put the strap back in. And then, look at this, guess what? All the same standard pieces. We've got a zip ID, we've got a wristlet slash large tech case, same as before, and we have an, actually a reader's case, the soft-sided reader's case, and then we have a saddle up crossbody purse. So pretty, yes, I love it, okay. Java Blue. This is one of my favorites. Okay. Good stuff. I wipe my hands. Then we have a few, a few pieces. This is Hope Garden. It is a, um, it's a cotton fabric that's got like the vinyl coating, basically. And it's a lunch bag. It has a Velcro, two pockets underneath the flap. But it's a rectangular, just a very insulated little cooler bag, like a lunch bag of some kind. Or put sodas, whatever you want in there. But Hope Garden, so it has all the pretty flowers. With a white background, but because it's finalized, it's like totally wipeable. And then the inside is plasticized as well, so very wipeable. Strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. So there you go. And it folds flat. Yay! And they both have that one for sure. This piece is a random one-off. I don't actually know what pattern this is. Yes, I do. Mod floral blue. I actually knew that, sorry. Uh, this is a tech case, like a regular tech case. It has a removable wristlet strap. It has the trim pattern. They used to sell these all the time and they're great for a little grab and go wallet because it zips diagonal so you can really get into it. Inside, you just have the one slip. A great card case, great little wallet grab and go, or great little tech case. And there you have it. Mod floral blue. There is mod floral pink. I don't have any of it to show you, but they go, they're just different colors of the same pattern. Then we have yellow bird in an on the go. This is an older bag. Now, I don't know, mod floral, that might be vintage too. How long you No, China. Disregard, I thought there was more vintage. This though, Yellow Bird, this is one of their favorite bags I could sell of these because it's been used, it's soft. It's been, it's been softened with love. It is well loved as we would say, but it is in perfect condition. On the go, Yellow Bird. So it's an older version of the On the Go, slightly smaller than the current version, well, maybe, but slightly different. So has a zipper across the back, which I have the tag in has the end compartments there. The strap is not removable. It doesn't have any loops on one side, so the adjustment is on the one side only. So if you're gonna clip anything on, you'd have to clip it through here. And this is very much older, Vera, you can tell, because look, it has plastic fittings, but they're the, like the old school barrette, brown and black, the slide and the, the loop. On the front, just has the trim. I call that the front because of the trim pattern. Definitely well named Yellow Bird. Inside, you have no pockets on the back, but three slip pockets on the front. And somewhere in here, 
is a tag. Don't know, but I would call this vintage. Pretty, pretty solid lace short. Anyway, yellow bird. They don't have a lot in it actually, but but well loved. Okay. Then um, there's a, there's a few of these. Here's yours, by the way. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> so and you. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys almost have the same pattern placement. We'll get back to that. <coughs> This one is sitting in a tree, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Tickle, tickle. Pickleball this morning and then fresh mowed grass. I don't know, maybe it's just talking too much. This is the little hip bag, and I'm right, sitting in a tree. There you go. This is one of the pattern, um, not pattern, styles that these two lovely ladies like because they have several of them. And this cute little piece is the most adorable thing. I had not seen these before. It's kind of like a mini little saddle up crossbody. Obviously it's not what it is, but it's kind of like that. It does have a snap, not a hidden magnet, but they're the magnet snaps. You open that, you have a little slip. Behind that you have the main compartment. And in the main compartment you have two card slots built in cute little bag about the thickness a little thicker than a tech case cute little bag really cute um, and then the strap is removable but also look at this you can make this into a belt bag it has this all set up for a belt bag with this strap or other it is adjustable and removable or you can just take the strap completely off and have it as a little pouch inside a bigger purse perfect for a bag in a bag grab and go in a bigger bag you don't have anything else in this pattern though, just this. I don't know why that happened, but. It's, maybe you just didn't like the pattern or it wasn't on sale. I don't Probably. know. That's how I shop. Um, but isn't that cute? So, a little mini saddle up piece. But they have it in several patterns. We'll come back to the next one, really, but here they both have the same thing. And look what I was saying, they're almost the same pattern placement on this side at least. They so have the same piece. They're like no kidding twins. And this looks the same on the bottom, very close. This piece is a little bit different, but it kind of is the same. They're very, very accidental genius, right? Okay, so that little black and white one is the last piece we'll come back to, but this is one of my favorite older Vera patterns, Blue Rhapsody. Is it Blue Rhapsody or Rhapsody in Blue? Because they're two different things, hang on. Yeah, Blue Rhapsody, I was right. And this is the Betsy, like I was saying, it's about the same size as that Tic Tac, small Tic Tac Toe Tote, slightly bigger, but also the same size as the Mandy, but all retired styles. I, I do think, ooh, I can't remember. You might be able to get something like this at the outlets right now, but I don't remember what they're calling it. It might even be the Mandy again, but nice quality details. Look at that. The straps are quilted, multiple <coughs> quilting lines. They're, they're nice, robustly constructed all the way to the base of the bag, the trim patterns. I like this beautiful blues and purples. The outside just has that one slip pocket on the front. That's it. Perfect for my phone. Whew. Zipper across the top for closure. The straps are mounted below the trim thing. I think that's interesting. Fine. No difference either way. Inside, you have three big slip pockets on one side, all with the trimmed top edge, and then three also on the back side. You have a removable hard bottom that cardboard and this is fabric lined so this is an older Vera so the exterior pattern code is like a sleeve you can take the cardboard out and wash the sleeve too so the exterior pattern the interior pattern and then the coordinating trim so kind of when you look inside it's not a black hole because you have the trimmed edges and you have the bottom and the other pattern so let me put that back in there where it belongs do, do, do. just pops right back in and slides based on the bottom. You can see it in there. And then this one, I know is vintage vintage, made in the USA, barely even used at all. It's so pretty. This was the first thing I saw when I opened the bin and I was like, oh, I'm drooling. So pretty, okay, and, and it's my style I like. Um, okay, inside there we have another wristlet and a zip ID. So the littles that go in there. And the last thing, this is Janet's stuff. So this is Janet's little 
maybe settle up. And then perfect lead in to Judy's collection, starting with the same bag. We tie the, uh, tuck this in. And the interior pattern, on, this is night and day pattern. So you have this geometric. I do love my blacks and whites. You know, I coordinate, mix and match my black and whites. That's a cute little piece. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, Let's move this over. Can you put that stuff back here for? Oh, oh, thank you. All right, now we have more of Judy's stuff than Janet's, but they're all very, very close. So some of this will go quicker. I'm gonna start a new pile over here, okay? All right, you don't need that. I wrote that down. Guess what? This piece we haven't seen yet, but it is um, Bally Blue. We're back to Bally Blue. This is probably never been used, also like my collection. But this is a, like a messenger bag. This, that's not what it's called. This one was the commuter, wasn't it? I think this is the commuter. No, I lied again. It's a laptop portfolio. Anyways, it's like the messenger bag, the old school messenger. So zipper all the way across the back. And it's not quite as big as my messenger bags. Side pocket that you could maybe fit your phone in or your keys or little things. It's not a big water bottle size. You've got a not removable, but it is adjustable with plastic fittings, crossbody. <coughs> and then you have a flap opening. Now, like the messenger bag, it has that plastic clip flap opening. You open it up, no zipper closure. Big pocket with two big slips in the back. There's the interior of that valley blue. And then you have two slips here as well. And then you snap that little thing closed and it's just pinched to open. I'm not particularly fond of that on my mail bags either, but there it is on the laptop portfolio, like a messenger bag. Okay, okay, I'm still stacking. In the same pattern, guess what? We have the on the go, same as before. And inside we have some littles. So the same, the same, do I have the tag on this one? I thought I did. Yeah, I do. It's called the travel belt bag. There you go. I was kind of right. I said belt bag. It's a travel belt bag. <laughs> Cute little thing. Um, did we actually show this one yet? I don't remember. I think we did. It has the loops for, you can strap. Um, it doesn't have the strap in it actually, but it has that magnetic front flap. Cute little thing. You can use it as a pouch inside a bag or as so. We have a tech case. Oopsie, I dropped the clip and zip. Nice pattern placement. We've got a lanyard. First was in a different pattern. And then we have a double eyeglass case. And I just stored all those inside the on the go. We already looked at this, so I'm not gonna bore you down with details. Oh, we have a business card case again with really nice pattern placement flower right on it. And then there's the strap for the belt bag. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there so we don't forget again. Real quick, so we keep the stuff where it belongs. We'll just put that through. It, the belt, by the way, on one end just has a loop and a clip on the other. So you can wear it like a sling or a belt. Which way you don't want to face, doesn't matter at the moment. Just put it on. So it goes right through, super easy. It's not a tunnel, it just goes strap and strap. And it's hooked through and I'll just clip it to itself so it's with it, with its buddy. Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay. And that goes together. Um, we've already seen this camellia mail bag. Inside we have nothing, just a camellia mail bag. We have, what did I call that? The commute? No. Oh, I forgot already. What did it call? Get the zipper. This is Java Blue, of course. Same piece as we saw before. Not a phone bucket. Did you have to put your tag? Here's the tag. Here it is. This once again is the Metropolitan in Java Blue. I'll put that back in that pocket. Okay, so we already saw this bag, but inside, guess what we have? Saddle up. Wristlet. I'm having so much fun. Zip ID. A little different placement. That was pretty. And then 
a double eyeglass case. The end, that's all. Okay, lots of lovely smalls and a big, that's a bag and a bag for travel, perfect. Then, guess what? Blue Rhapsody in the Betsy with a zip ID. And guess what's next? A beautiful mailbag in Ellie Blue with an elephant. And actually this one has two. Well, it's kind of cut off on the flap, but it's a magnet, so you can see all the way up the trim. Same as you saw before. And also another zip ID. There we go. Oh, oh, and the interior does have the elephants in the pattern, by the way. You can see them in there, like there. The main pattern is no elephants, though. Just florals. Okay, so lots of mailbags. And then we're back to Cafe Latte. And this is where I say these two obviously really like this pattern because they bought a bunch of pieces in it. Or else it was a really good sale, I don't know. But there's the hipster. <laughs> This is an older version, and we established this was made in China, but it's definitely older, Vera, because it even has those plastic, black, brown, rectangular <coughs> pieces. Okay, but we got the hipster. We've got an eyeglass case, single, not double. We've got a zip ID. There's a bit of the interior in there. And we've got that ribbon cosmetic, I think it was called. And it has the zipper inside here plain black nylon interior though and then two mesh slip pockets on this side and those have the trim on the top edge so i put all of those together inside each other or with each other because guess what they have the bigger pieces as well the tall zip tote pretty different pattern placement it has on the flap there it's got a saddle up pretty i love it i really like this cafe latte it's pretty pretty like my neutrals, and then the large backpack. There you go. Okay, so all this will go back in this bin, and I will put it in there after. But we're gonna open this bin. So this is, oops, sorry, bin three of three. So much fun, right? It's so pretty. Um, this is another older weekender. And you know what? I didn't look up this pattern. This is an older, older one, even though it's plastic. So it has plastic fittings, rolled handles. It's back to that single front. I will try and find the pattern. This is one of those rare times where I really, I, I forgot to look it up. I will put it in the comments below. It's an older one though, you can tell. It has the strap, woven, cotton style. Ooh, sweaty Betty. Inside, it does have a removable hard bottom. You can see, let me turn it inside out so you can see how it works. This one, it has this sleeve on the bottom that's sewn on and you just slide it, the cardboard in and out. The cardboard is actually here. So if you've never seen it, this is not the one. Actually, hold on, let me get the right one. Probably it's this one, probably, or one like it. So that's cardboard, it's a robust cardboard. It's not like a slacky cardboard. It's a very dense cardboard. I'll figure out which one and put it back later, but just the inside of the pattern. Yeah. Pretty simple, the older bags. It has the rolled handles. It has the one slip on the front only. No side pockets, but it has trim on both ends. Inside, you have three pockets on one side, three pockets on the other. They're just slips, but they're trim topped. The inside is quilted, yeah. old school mice bureau stuff. Yeah. But it is a big bag. This is a weekender style, so but it's simple. There's the base of it, so it is that big piece of cardboard. And I will fix that. And I'll get you the pattern name. While we're talking older weekenders, here comes the other one. English Meadow? Was it? English Meadow? I think I think it's right. Yes, English Meadow Weekender. That was the one with the zipper version, rolled handles, two pockets on the front. This one had metal fittings, but still the woven handle. I think I think I saw that pattern. Just, well, maybe, maybe not. Never mind. But if you want to look it up, the retired that bag piece. Oh, this one? Um, yeah, this is way. Uh, you'll have to look by picture, not by name, because I don't know the name of it at all. I can go in there. That's fine. Um, we saw the Hope Garden lunch 
box of sorts. Really pretty multicolored flowers. We've got the Franny Zip ID and, or sorry, Zip ID and Franny in the Deco Daisy with the hound's tooth inside. You can kind of see some of it right there. Same like before. Again, you're seeing duplicates. Guess what? Little bird. Oh, I forget the name of it again already. This cute little baby. Hmm? Sitting in a tree thing. Yeah, sitting yeah. in a tree. Same, same. You both have the same ones. Let me tuck the strap in here. I love that that little strap is removable too. So you just have a little pouch if you want or a belt bag. So that one. Then we have, and this is one we haven't seen, the tall zip tote we have. But this is in one of the patterns we haven't seen yet. This is Mod Floral Pink. Mm, too bad I didn't save the other bit out. Mod Floral Pink. You, can, you can't really tell because that piece was just a zip by, or a tech case. But this is the same pattern in the pink colors. But you get much more of the pattern view on this piece because it's a larger style. So those two pieces, the tall zip tote and the, and the eyeglass case, that's a double eyeglass case. Then we have yellow bird on the go. And again, this one too. These are the two most used pieces in this whole collection and they're still perfect. There's no worn spots. You could just feel that it's been used. It's softer, it's been broken in, but, but it's perfect. Yellow bird on the go. And there's the interior again. We already saw the bag, so we're not gonna dive too much. Um, then we have Poppy Fields, Franny. We got the pattern placements, all the flowers in different colors. You got the hot iron case thing. You got the um, trip. It was called the trip something, but it's that um, be dapper thing, cosmetic and a zip ID. So all the pretties and she does not have at least not in here, the big tote, but that was the one we had to get carried away one in. We got the Slate Blooms Franny and Zip ID, because we're twinsies. <laughs> They're chuckling, but I love it. I think it's so adorable. It's just Y'all, they dress identically, like every day. They have, like their bedding in the house is the same. They have um, they have matching Vera Bradley blankets. Well, thanks to, I, I thanks to Dina. <laughs> yes, thank you. But patriotic colors because they're patriotic people. Um, okay, Botanica. This wasn't in the other collection as far as this style, but the, okay. the pattern yeah, was. So there it is in the tall zip tote again. So a lot of tall zip totes, y'all. They're beautiful bags. Um, and then in the Botanica, a different piece again, that small tic-tac-toe tote. And the inside is that very green green. But we saw the style already, but you see the trim a little better on this pattern. And that leads us to the very last item. Um, but it's a luggage tag in Barcelona or Barcelona. Barcelona. The inside, you can't really see it, but it's um, a geometric pattern. And it's black and white, but it has a blue dot right in the middle. <laughs> anyway, it's the vinylized luggage tag. So definitely retail style, older style. I prefer this style. They last longer. But anyways, that's the last piece. So thank you all for watching. I had a really lovely weekend on our land cruise. These are the most amazing people you could ever meet. They're cruisers, they're happy people. They have a lovely paradise place that we come and visit and intruded on their little world for a few days. But they're all looking at me right now. So I'm just gonna say goodbye and say thank you publicly. And we'll have some fun. I'll put all the info in the comments as always. Bye for now. Let's say bye. 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 Okay. <laughs>